There are a lot of EVs in the market, be it Neo, Tesla, Toyota, etc. Everyone's EV game is on and also strong, whereas Ford has gotten way ahead of it by making its F-150 run on electric motors and a battery. The chassis and powertrain would need to be rethought from the ground up. Though is it possible that the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning pickup truck will be better in charging speed than Tesla Cybertruck, R1T Rivian, and Hummer? Eager to find out? Let's try to find it out with the help of ElectroZone. Are you ready? Well, pause the video and hit the subscribe button to stay connected with the latest feeds and information. Well, the question remains how fast the Ford F-150 Lightning charges. According to information Ford has made public, the Lightning's extended range battery pack can be recharged from 15 to 80 percent in just 41 minutes. The same journey will take standard range battery equipped vehicles 45 minutes. Although the standard range battery is smaller, the charge time from 15 to 80 percent is longer due to a slightly lower maximum charging rate and a less aggressive charging curve. The longer time required to fully charge larger batteries is because their capacity may be fully utilized at faster rates later in the charging curve. How long will it take to fully charge the battery pack for an F-150 Lightning with an extended range? Some have complained that extended charging periods might be an issue on long travels because Ford is employing the same 400-volt battery design in the Lightning as it did in the Mustang Mach-E. Since the Lightning can sustain at least 100 kilowatts of charging power up to 80% state of charge, we found the charging curve to be aggressive enough to recharge the car in a reasonable amount of time. While there is potential for advancement, we anticipate that the majority of Lightning owners will find the vehicle charges rapidly enough to enable long-distance travel when connected to 150 kilowatt or 350 kilowatt DC fast chargers. Ford F-150 Lightning vs. Tesla Cybertruck Charging the Cybertruck and Lightning at home or a public charging station takes about the same amount of time. The Lightning can go from 15 to 80 percent charge in around 41 minutes when using a DC fast charger, which is the sort of charger that is found at charging stations. On the other hand, it takes the Cybertruck roughly 44 minutes to get from having a charge of 10 percent to having a charge of 80 percent. On the other hand, charging the Lightning using a 120-volt charger like the one you may have in your garage only adds 2 to 3 miles per hour to the vehicle's top speed before it needs to be recharged again. The Cybertruck's performance is not noticeably improved with a speed increase of only around 4 miles per hour at most. Ford includes a mobile charger that, when connected to a NEMA 1450 socket, which is a 240-volt outlet designed for use with higher power devices, accelerates the charging process by approximately 14 miles per hour. This is done to compensate for the slower charge time offered by a standard household outlet. Keep in mind, however, that to use the adapter, the Lightning will first need to be linked to a circuit that can handle 50 amps, and then a plug that is designed specifically for the adapter will need to be inserted. Although Tesla sells a wall connector that can reduce the amount of time required for a charge and recommends another cable, the NEMA 1450, the company, does not provide either cable with the car. R1T Rivian vs. F-150 Lightning The body design of a pickup truck is primarily intended to serve the purpose of utility. Its primary functions are to haul cargo, pull other vehicles, and travel to a variety of destinations. Because of the inherent design biases that each of these vehicles has, they are both capable of navigating around these challenges. Trucks often come with a bed that can be used to store items, but the one that comes standard on the F-150 is not just an extra foot long but also quite a bit broader. It has a volume that is almost exactly twice as large as the bed of the R1T. The Lightning has a maximum payload capacity of up to 2,200 pounds, depending on the configuration. However, the payload capacity of the Platinum trim, which was tested, is restricted to 1,660 pounds because all of the luxury equipment consumes some of that payload. The maximum payload for the R1T is 1,464 pounds, which is more than the Gladiator but not even the Ford Ranger can claim to be spectacular in comparison. The Rivian has a maximum towing capacity of 11,000 pounds, whereas the Ford can only manage 10,000. This gives the Rivian a little advantage when coupling a trailer. Both vehicles are quite capable of towing huge trailers while giving the impression that there is very little link to them. When used for towing, the range of an electric car may be cut anywhere from 25 to 50 percent, 
with the exact percentage drop depending on the size and weight of the trailer being towed. If the majority of charging stations have not yet been constructed to enable pull-through charging bays, it may be required to detach the trailer to charge the car during long trips. This is because longer trips require more battery power. Because there is no engine located up front, electric vehicles come with the added benefit of being able to have storage that is both covered and lockable. While the Lightning has a trunk space of 14 cubic feet, the R1 trunk only has 11.1 .1 cubic feet of space. On the other hand, the front fascia of the Rivian is permanently installed, whereas the plate that would be the grille on a gas-powered F-150 is linked to the hood of the vehicle. The Rivian also features a pair of 120-volt AC outlets in the bed, but Lightning's ProPower onboard system comes standard with 10 120-volt outlets and 2.4 kilowatts of accessible power. The Rivian's bed is also equipped with a pair of 120-volt AC outlets. There are four outlets and two USB ports in the trunk, two additional outlets in the cab, and four more outlets in the cargo area. The Rivian, with its 835 horsepower, can reach 60 miles per hour in three seconds, whereas the Ford, with its mere 580 horsepower, takes slightly more than four seconds. The Ford F-150 Lightning against GMC Hummer EV The 2022 Hummer EV truck has a battery capacity of over 200 kilowatt-hours and can travel between 250 and 350 miles on a single charge, depending on whether it uses a dual-motor or tri-motor system. The truck's Ultium cells come in 24-module packs of 24 cells. A full charge of the 800-volt battery system can be achieved in as little as 10 minutes, allowing you to go 100 miles of the total 350 miles. The GMC Hummer EV comes in a few different electric-only trims, each with their own range limitations determined by the electric motors they come equipped with. When connected to a DC fast charger, the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning can be recharged in as little as 40 minutes. However, the standard model takes 10 hours and the extended model takes 13 hours to charge using 240 volts at level 2. Ford boasts that the F-150 can travel up to 230 miles on electric power alone and that number rises to over 300 with a more powerful battery. The Ford Lightning EV pickup truck has not yet had its trim-specific EV range announced. The GMC Hummer EV has three electric motors and a 4WD system that together produce 1,000 horsepower and 11,500 pound-foot of torque. General Motors claims the Hummer electric pickup can go from 0 to 60 mph in 3 seconds while in watts to freedom mode. The massive EV reached 60 mph in exactly that time in our testing, beating out the Rivian R1T as the fastest pickup truck we'd ever evaluated. The tri-motor and all-wheel drive system allow the fastest Cybertruck to reach 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. Although we don't have confirmation from Tesla, we calculate that the Cybertruck generates 690 horsepower and 824 pound-feet of torque. Maybe it won't, though. Even though the truck is supposed to arrive next year, it has already been delayed for nearly a year, so we may never find out. The R1T from Rivian, on the other hand, has all-wheel drive and four electric motors. The sleek battery electric pickup truck we tested accelerated from 0 to 60 mph in 3.2 seconds, with the claimed 835 horsepower and 908 pound-feet of torque. The all-electric lightning truck that Ford is developing will be faster than any F-150 before it. For the first car ever, it has an independent rear suspension in addition to its standard all-wheel drive and twin-motor setup. According to Ford, the extended battery-equipped F-150 Lightning generates 580 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque. That will do it for us today. In the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.